Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today I'm going to show you how to change the drain in a bathroom sink. Alright, it's fairly easy. Let me show you what it looks like here and then we're going to take it apart and we're going to do a step by step and we're going to put a replacement back in there. Alright? Okay. Alright, this is the part that I'm talking about here. We're going to replace this with a new one. You can see here it's a little bit discolored. It's all fading away. So we're going to replace this with a, with a newer model. All right, it's going to be a little tough to film it down underneath the bottom right here where I'm going to be working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the drain out and then I'll explain to you step by step how I did it. Okay, so this is, this is the, the drain assembly after I removed it from the sink itself. Now the way you would do this is quite simple. You come up underneath the bottom with a pair of pliers such as this. You take this top piece right here. You rotate it counterclockwise to loosen it up. Unscrew it take it out of the way and then this piece is now disconnected from the main part of the drain or the the trap all right what we had to do too is disconnect the trap and pull that out of the way I'm gonna bring you in there I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about so you know this piece here connects to the rod that goes up to the top that lifts it up and down to make the drain open and close like that and the way you take that off is there's a piece underneath there like this just a little piece of metal like that it goes around this here, the tool, the uh, piece for the drain up top goes on there, and then this goes over it just like that. And the way you remove it is you just take this, squeeze it together, and pull this off. Okay? Next thing we did now is that this is disconnected, this is loosened up here as well. This piece here we're going to take out. And the way you do that is you unscrew this piece right here, just like that. Take it out put it off to the side and now this drain piece will just come out you just turn it over and it pulls right out I'm going to take this out of the way as well we're not going to reuse any of this so you don't need to keep it next thing we're going to do now is you come up underneath the bottom here now this piece here I'll show you. this piece here is screwed up all the way tight and what you do is just take this and loosen it just like that loosen it up and now you'll notice that this is now in the sink and this piece is going to move up and down. But we need to get it out. And the way you get it out is you take a pair of pliers like this. You come up on the top right here, grip it, and then down on the bottom you rotate this and it loosens it up. And then you unscrew this just like that and this piece pulls right out. Now let me take you in there and I'm going to show you what I mean about disconnecting the trap that was down inside here. All right. Okay, and this is what it looks like underneath the uh, underneath the sink itself. Now remember what I was telling you, this piece here connects right into the top of that tube right there, and then that little rod went through that piece right there. Okay? So the, and the way you would loosen up the, the trap now to, to get it apart is you would come in underneath here, again with a pair of pliers just like this, just loosen a little bit, and then you loosen this up right here, just like that. And you can do the exact same thing around the back over here. You loosen up this one in the back right here, just like that. You take this out, just like that. And that comes apart, and the whole thing comes apart. All right, so that's how you remove it. And uh, now we're going to talk about putting it back together. Okay, so now after we have the trap apart, one thing you have to do is a lot of times you'll find what's called plumber's putty or thread lock sealer on here, such as this. You need to clean all of that stuff off before you put it back together. So we're going to clean this, this stuff off just like this. We're going to pull this out just like that. Clean this all out inside here. Very important that you get this stuff out. It doesn't have to be everything, but you want to get as much out of it as you possibly can. Same thing right here. Clean it all out. And we'll do the exact same thing here. We're going to clean this all up here as well. Now we are going to change these gaskets on here just so you know, so we don't have any leaks any place. So we're going to grab our new ones and we're going to put it back together with that. Right, just clean it up like that. 
And then once you have everything fairly cleaned up, we can start the assembly process again. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to assemble the new drain that comes with it. This is what it looks like when you get it. Let me show you everything that comes with it. This is what it looks like. This. It comes with this. It comes with the piece like this. It comes with the new pop-up for the middle of the, uh, the sink itself. And the way you would start putting this together, first thing you're going to do is you're going to take this piece here and you're just going to unscrew it just like that. Take it off. And we're going to come back to this in just a minute, okay? So we're going to put this down for now. This we're going to screw into the bottom right here. It's threaded right in here. But you can't just screw this in by itself. You need to put on there um, some kind of a thread sealant. And we happen to have, I'm not going to, well, I'll show you the one that I use actually. This is the one that I use. I like this. I've been using it for a long, long time. And the way you do is just take your brush, put a little bit on here, and you put it on the threads just like this. Now, if you don't have this, you can use uh, Teflon tape on here as well, but I like this stuff. So we're just going to put a good amount on just like this. All right? Any excess, we'll be wiping it off, so don't worry about that. They sell lots of different kinds in the big box stores. Okay, and then we take our drain in our hand. We take this piece here that goes into the bottom with a thread lock on it, and we screw it on and screw it up as far as it'll go. Just like that. And now that thread sealant will keep anything from leaking out. We're just going to snug it by hand. We don't need to tighten it up with a with a wrench or anything or do any damage to this right here. So that's very important. All right, next thing we're going to do now is we're going to wipe off that thread sealant because we don't want to make a mess all over everything. Do you have to? No. If you choose to leave it on, you can. But I like to do a nice, neat job. So we take it out just like that. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this nut right here and we're going to screw it down. All the way down. Just like that. Okay? Push our gasket down in place. Just like that. Now as much as you may think that you're supposed to take that washer that, that little washer off there, you don't. You keep that washer on there, that has to stay on there because that way it makes it for a nice, it'll push it up without damaging the rubber seal. Okay, so we're just going to push this down just like this. Okay. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to take something called Plumber's Putty. Plumber, this happens to be the particular brand that I'm using, but there's lots of different kinds that you can use. All right, my cat's trying to see what's going on in here. Okay, what we're going to do with the Plumber's Putty now is we're just going to open it up, of course. We're going to take some of the Plumber's Putty out. Don't worry about using too much of this stuff. And what we do is just take it and you roll it in your hands, just like this. And you'll see it gets longer cross, just like that. Okay, then we take our piece up on the top there, and you put this all around the top like that. Okay, and now we have our plumber's buddy on there. We just push it down a little bit just like this. Okay. Okay, now we're going to take this and we're going to put it in through the top of the sink. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Okay, put this on the top right here. And now from the bottom, we're going to take this and we're going to screw it up into that. Thank <laughs> you. 
piece in the back facing to the back that opens and closes the pop-up drain and now we just tighten this up here nice and slowly and then we grab our pliers hold this so it stays straight and then we tighten it up a little more Okay, now after that's tight, we're going to come back underneath here and we're going to reassemble our flange. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up on the top right here. And all of this excess plumber's putty, we're going to take this off just like that. We'll come back in here later and clean it up better. But we're just going to take this out now. Okay, and we'll come back to this in just a minute. Okay, so we need to reattach all of this stuff underneath the bottom right here. This piece is going to go in here like that. Okay, and this piece is going to go up in here like that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to take some more of that thread lock that we had. bit around the threads right here just like that remember we're going to clean this off later so it doesn't really matter all right just like that same thing here going to put some sealant on there as well. Everything that has threads, you want to use sealant on, okay? You don't need a lot, just a little bit. Okay? Now, next thing we're going to do, remember, this goes up this way, okay? So now, before we put that up there, we need to put Put this up here like that. We're going to put on new seal on as well, just like that. Push it up, okay. And now we're going to take this piece right here and we're going to push it up in the bottom. I like to put a little bit of this around here. Take this, put it up here, just like that. Screw this down and just catch it. You're not going to tighten anything, you're just going to screw it in just like that. Okay? We're going to take our bucket out of the way. Okay? 
See it? Okay. Okay, now we're going to take this and we're going to put it up here and we're going to put this into there as well. All right, so now we're going to remember we have a gasket right on there as well. We're going to put a little bit of that sealant on here as well, just in case there's any little nicks or scratches. We don't want it to seep, not even one drop at it. Okay, just like that. We have the thread sealer on there. Next thing we're going to do now, we're going to bring it in here, put it on here, and catch that one loosely. Okay. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take this, slide it down, and into here, just like that. And then we'll catch this one, like that as well. And now everything is snug. Now we'll come in here with our pliers, and we're just going to tighten it a little bit. You don't want to over tighten it and break anything. Okay, and that's it. That's how you uh, put in a trap on the bottom. Okay, just like that. Now we're going to wipe all that debris away. And then once we wipe it away, we're going to come in the back over here, and we're going to put our, our uh, popper inside there for the drain. All right, so let me wipe this all, all clean, and we'll come right back. Okay, this is going to be a little difficult to film, but I'm going to show you anyway. I'm going to unscrew this piece off right here, just like this. Take it off. All right, and we're going to take this piece here, and we're going to put it through, just like that. Okay, we're going to take this, slide it through the drain, and then up top, I don't know if you can see this, and then up top, we're going to slide this piece through here, and then we're going to snug this nut up right here. All right, so let me do that, and once I get that caught in there, then we'll come right back, and we'll finish this up. All right, so we're just going to come in this way. We're going to drop it into the top. Okay, that's it. That's what it looks like when it's finished. That's the clip that I was telling you about that holds it in place. And now this piece right here, this right here, you don't want to tighten this with a tool. You want to tighten it by hand. If it drips a little bit, then of course you can just snug it down a little bit tighter. But that's it, the job is all done. All right, next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn on the water and we're gonna test it and make sure we have no leaks. All right, we're gonna be very careful, make sure there's nothing leaking underneath here. And after the sink fills up, we're gonna let the water run, run out. That's it. Nice and dry. Okay, so that's it. Our, our drain is in. We wiped off all of that excess plumber's putty from up on the top before we filled it up with water. We're going to run it one or two more times just to make sure we have no leaks in there and this job is done. Remember, water you got to be very careful with. Make sure that you have no leaks there because if that water even has one or two drops coming down, you're going to wind up destroying your, your vanity and you know, leading it to other problems. So make sure that you have no leaks. Don't over tighten anything too tight because you're only working with plastic. That's it, job is done, so we're gonna go on to the next one. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.